This is the true old Florida that you can still enjoy today. Local antique shops dot the streets, symbols of the unique memories collected here in McClenny and neighboring Glen St. Mary. One of the most picturesque and historically rich spots to spend some time is Heritage Park Village, a collection of historical and recreated buildings that tell the story of the area. The two original buildings are the train depot, which was moved here, and the Burnson Block House, an original home that was sanctioned to be built by Andrew Jackson in the early 1800s. It was found because of a Seminole Indian Chief's journal. That journal made mention of a particular house that was a stronghold against the Seminole's fiery arrows. You can still see the gun ports today. The other thing that's on site here is a recreation of Darbyville. It kind of resembles an old west town. Darbyville is McClenny's original name, and you can see examples of the businesses that would have been here at that time like the Moonshine Garage, where folks running spirits across the Florida Georgia line would secretly pull in their cars for an automotive advantage. And that's where they would stop to soup them up, to paint them if they were being chased by law enforcement. Earning this town the nickname of Moonshine Capital. The original Baker County Courthouse is now a library, listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Next door is the Historical Society, which used to be the Baker County Jail. Condemned in the 70s, but still housing the creepy cells and even the gallows, which would have ended with a drop down into the jail's kitchen. For a thrill, visit in October when the Historical Society turns it into a haunted house tour. Wednesdays is fried pork chop day. Yep, there's home cooking. Fraser's Corner Cafe, a fifth generation food mart turned restaurant in Glen St. Mary, offers southern style breakfast and lunch and the best mac and cheese I've ever tasted. Exploring Old Florida, I'm Janice Jones.